leaves for one week, this is what I have to deal with. She's pissed. So you know the saying, if the cat's away, the mice can play. So it runs away, and the like, people are not coming to fucking work. It's actually absolutely manic in there. I take a, a few minutes break just to get out of the madness that's going on there. It's definitely the biggest conference that I've ever seen. And I'm running around like a mad person. I'm absolutely having the time of my life. So we are token 2049. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, it kind of looks like a bull market. Like it looks uh, incredible here. I've met a lot of cool fans already. And now we're going to the Bidget Yacht Party. So it's my uh, disclaimer, it's my first yacht I've ever been on. So I'm super excited for that. What's up, bro? Uh, did you see there is drama in crypto land, or at least in influencer land? Crypto Rover took Miles' tweet. Uh, now they're fighting with each other. So you can see over here Miles. Congrats on surviving the longest bear market in Bitcoin history. Uh, they'll still call you, keyword, lucky next cycle. Crypto Rover, <laughs> exactly the same tweet. Con uh, yet in the next cycle, many will still label it as luck. So he did change like one line. And there's another one over here, look at this one. Here he's showing the stablecoin market cap going down, miles. And then you got Crypto Rover, stablecoin market cap going down as well. We're just in that phase of the market cycle. P everything is boring. People are copying each other, fighting. Um, yeah, welcome to the bear market. One of the things we've spoken about a lot this week is around people stealing our content. People repurposing our content or copying our content to try and get clout. And there's an account called Crypto Rover. And we've seen that recently, Rover's been copying our material and tweeting it as if it was his own. And then what happened is, Run found out about it and he confronted on what on Twitter, he literally typed there to Rover, hey, why are you stealing Miles' tweet? And then two days later, Rover copied one of Rand's tweets. <laughs> if you think about it from the perspective of the Twitter algorithm, it's a really smart strategy, but I think it just lacks a bit of integrity. You've got to understand, people work hard to try bring creative things on Twitter. To just take someone's information and just tweak it and then take cloud for it, uh, it's not cool. Now, I know Dan. Dan's quite a smart guy. And it disappoints me to see that that's the tactics that he's resorting to. As we're approaching the yacht, I look to my right and I see Crypto Rover. He's here. And I'm thinking, this has just become an incredible trip. <laughs> Good. Still pushing uh, through, eh? Still living in uh, South Africa? I am. Yeah. I am. I'm going in January for South Africa. Wait, you must come see. You must let me know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Generally, Let's do it, bro. Uh, I'll take you around. You have you seen Run there? yet? What happened? No, there? not yet. Not have you yet. seen him? No, not yet. I probably will see him in the coming in the coming days. I'll probably buy it. We're gonna go to the. Yeah, definitely. Because I was oh. confused. I was like, what the hell? Like you guys met each I, other then, and I, then. Uh, I don't know what happened because, like, from my opinion. What yep. happens is that first of all, I was like tweeting and Rand was posting on my uh, accounts, react to my tweets like, oh, this is fake news or this is that. And I, I send my sources to him and he doesn't reply. So I thought, okay, maybe he's got something against me. I don't know. And then like the Glassnode chart about the bear market, like so many people tweeted about it on the internet, tweeted about it five times, but with a different text because I tweet 40 times a day. So sometimes I post the same stuff. Mm. And he said mm. I was copying mails. This or that. In the end of the day, you can literally see my page that I posted it five times, four times before. So you're gonna try, you guys gonna chat it out? It's important, I bro. I we definitely need, want to chat to, it out. We need to come together, we can't. I, def I don't, I don't want to have beef with anyone. Exactly. So his side was saying that, you know, he was posting these things a while back and they actually possibly copied him. And he posts 30 to 40 tweets every single day. So he needs to use stuff and things like that. I don't know, it didn't sound super convincing to me. Um, I like the guy personally very much. I've met him a few times, um, but I do think he was wrong in this instance. And when I got his side of the story, I wasn't super convinced. It's just a bunch of egos and I just don't, I don't swim in that lake. These sorts of things would not affect my life. Yeah, I saw Miles this morning, he's here as well. 
Yeah, it's good. Let's chat. We're all fucking yeah, together, bro. And I'll help you. I'll be there. We're in the same game, game, so. We are in the same game. There was all this uh, nice stuff when uh, I was uh, Camera vs camera bro. Camera vs camera. Hey man. Like and subscribe! Yeah. I wanna say a massive thank you to Budget for Bear Market and I'm sitting on a yacht right now. My first time ever. Again, I'm incredibly grateful for this journey. Never quit on your dreams. Don't allow anyone to stop you on this journey. Because uh, if you work hard enough, it does happen. So keep focused, that's fam. This is the man. Honestly, <laughs> this is the man. You can't get enough of this guy, man. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go, bro. I'm excited, huh? Let's go. So here we are, end of day one, token 2049. Absolutely crazy in there. Uh, most people are going home to chill now or maybe going to some after parties. I'm going to go to the hotel and I've got to go live again. I'm exhausted and I'm jet lagged. I'm finished from today. All right, welcome. Listen, we are running very late. The inflation numbers came out. We've got to make a show. So I'm trying to catch up and understand what happened with the CPI and then also putting the rest of the show together. And you can see now there are exactly 12 minutes until the show starts. So I put, put, put my head down and, and focus. Working. Damn, I can't hear you again, Josh. Which means there's not going to be. Talk, Josh. Okay. I was a professional dancer before I became a trader. Never in my life. Did we not have a sound check before we went on stage? And this is no different. I do not understand why behind the scenes team turns up three minutes before the show and doesn't do a sound check. Okay, there we go. All right, let's go. What's wrong, Josh? I'm hearing an echo. I'm tired. I've been on a 20 hour flight across the globe. I need to do a live show. It's the last, last thing I feel like doing now. And the last thing I feel like dealing with is sound issues. I mean, I cannot believe that we're three years into banter and we're still having basic sound issues. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. Okay. We're the biggest live crypto streaming station in the world. We shouldn't be having these issues now. If they don't get the, this resolved in the next few weeks, it's not gonna end well. It's always with these traveling shows. Ah, uh, we have some, thank God. Mm. Yeah. There was, there was drama, there is drama now. Like, how do you not have a sound check? It makes no sense to me. This is what I have to deal with. Okay. The one thing that banter has is its culture. People know us because we've got the best work ethic and the best culture in the industry. And so if I'm here busting my ass in Singapore, working from 7 a.m. like a crazy person at the conference, I won't tolerate people back at the office not arriving at work. Bro. Have you seen Ren's message? He's pissed. She's pissed. Do you know the saying, if the cat's away, the mice will play? So Ron's away, and the mice are definitely playing. Like, people are not coming to fucking work. 
So he says, so it turns out that some people believe that while we are away working like dogs in Singapore, it is okay to drop the company culture and arrive late to the office. And he's like, I've spoken about this before and believe I made it clear that this is something I won't tolerate. There's this perception that while I'm away, everyone can mess around at the other side. So I put my foot down and I sent the team a message and I said in the message, I'm getting the video footage from my landlord and if anybody arrived one minute after 9.15 in the morning, they fired. Pack up your laptops and leave. If you were late, please pack your bags today and leave your laptop. A lot of people started DMing me thinking, you're not really going to fire people for not arriving at work. Watch me. Are you worried you're going to get fired? <laughs> no. No, I'm not. I'm literally not. I'm chilling because, look, I'm the diversity employee, okay? They literally go, hey, look, we care about diversity. So, I'm immune. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> I'm not scared. Morning, guys. Uh, I see that no one's in the office. Uh, I don't know if Runs dropped a message saying people can work from home. There's nothing I know about. So, unless Runs given you permission to work from home or myself, Please get into the office, 9 a.m., work as usual, nothing's changed. We don't run a work from home culture, we run a work from office culture, strictly 9 a.m. If you're not going to be here, don't come in. I don't stand for people that take chances when Rand's out the country, and I'm back. So best you get in here, or it's game over. Oh, wow. Interesting. <laughs> I've just woke up. <laughs> no, don't fall. Oh, jeez. Guys, I'm like super late. It's like one o'clock in the afternoon. Um, I ended up going to a party last night and I lost my bag. So the whole morning I've been trying to phone the hotels, try to find my bag. I lost my pass. So I had to go stand in a long queue now, try to get another pass. They didn't want to give me another pass. And now it's like... Only like two, three hours left of the event and I gotta try uh, squeeze in there and sneak in behind runs so that he doesn't uh, beat my ass. Um, but yeah, let's go. <laughs> Don't film this because he's just going to copy it and put it on his on his channel. <laughs> I disagree. <That's, laughs> let's talk. 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 Listen, you know, I always say I love you. You work really hard. Of course. But I didn't understand you score. Yeah, I just think I, I just think you can do better, bro. Yeah, of course. So can I also explain my side? Because sure. I tweet like 30 to 40 tweets a day because that's my strategy. You tweet as much as possible. Yes, yes, yes. You get Honestly, you do you. I like you. I've liked you since the beginning. I like you since the beginning. I've always said you're a hardworking guy. The only thing is, so I'm gonna give you two things. One is, I think you can do better than using other people's content because you're actually a smart guy, right? Yes. And when you use other people's content, it just it makes you not a smart guy. The other thing is, I mean, I, at one point I had to unfollow you because why? Yeah. Because. The amount of times you tweet the same thing which is just unsubstantiated, course, yes. it's like, I can't read it anymore. Now listen, if that's your strategy and it works for you, yeah, it's, it's, it's just, fucking great. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I, mean, I just I, think you can do better, bro. That's like all good between us. I mean, no, no, bro, always good. Of course. Every time I've criticized you, I've always said on my videos that I like Rova, he's a nice guy, he works really hard. I've always said it. Go watch my videos. I've never said I, you're I, a bad I, guy. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Much love, man. Nice, nice to speak to you. Yeah. I mean, no, no, I, I, because I, I, it's all, I, I don't want to make enemies, you know. Oh, no, 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 no. Because no, I no. think we're all in it together. Nothing like that. Okay. Nothing yeah, like that. Yeah. Thank you. Much love, bro. I do like him. I mean, I like Robert. He's a very cool guy. I've always said that he's very smart. 
but I just I think he can do better. Maybe it's just disappointment. I think he can do better. But okay, good guy, good guy. I need to sit because I haven't had a, a moment to sit for. So the office has just opened up. Um, I just need to make sure that everyone gets a lot of messages. Yesterday's show was super disappointing. Um, I feel I was kind of let down by a lot of people, but including the research team. Why? Because they didn't add any spice or any flavor to the show. And when I looked at the show, I found it to be like very similar to other shows that have been on. For example, like Ivan on Tech. And I, that put me in a position where I was under a lot of pressure to have to deliver an amazing show, but I didn't have the research and I didn't have the content. I just want to make sure that it doesn't happen again. The first day Rand does a show, since he's been in Singapore, has been our worst performing show in three weeks. It was an absolute mess. The content was bad. There was barely anyone on the research call, which completely reflected the show we had. People that can't get their work done because Rand's away should go. I don't know why I even need to attend these research calls, to be honest with you, because he needs content for his show, but I don't need it. So, and I also worked out a hack. You're not allowed to be late because you get kicked out forever, but if you don't show up at all, you can come back. So just don't show up at all. <laughs> we know that Twitter spaces is really important for our business. It brings in a, a brand new audience, number one. We also think that Twitter is one day going to replace YouTube. And lastly, our business is very reliant on YouTube. And you know, YouTube centralized. They could switch off our channel tomorrow and we wouldn't have anyone to talk to. It's as simple as that. So we made a decision that we're gonna pivot our business to focus on Twitter. And in focusing on Twitter, we partnered with Mario Norfolk and Scott Malka, and we created a show called Crypto Town Hall. It's a daily show that happens at 10.50 EST and it's myself, Scott, and Mario. How are you feeling? Good, tired. What time did you wake up? Dead, 3.45. We jet, did Spaces jet last night. Yeah, I got here yesterday, so we did Spaces last night, which I stayed up for, I was falling asleep, and then the minute we were done, I wanted to go to sleep, and I couldn't. You're starting to sleep Mario hours now? Yeah, I know, uh, for, for a few days. He, how I was he supposed to, He wanted me, I don't know how he does it. He wanted me to come to Dubai in between, and he was gonna meet me at the airport for like 45 minutes. He's really good on spaces, but I must say, like, I'm struggling on the spaces. I can't, I can't get a word in, man. It's a problem. Not, not because of him, I don't think. I think it's because we're still hosting on his account. Yeah. And so the perception is that it's his show. Yeah. And I think that he is so used to... Uh, Running the show. We do calls with him, obviously. Mm. And he tells people to, like, mute themselves because there's background noise on a call. On a call. His like whole, he literally, his whole everything he does is, is modeled after a space. Yeah. But um, yeah, I think we need to switch to the other account soon. Yeah. We're gonna take, take a, a hit on take a hit, take, We'll take a hit on the views in the short term. In the long term though, we'll build another thing. Look, there's gonna be issues. It's a new partnership with three people and three businesses. Three teams. Three teams. That's the problem. Yeah, three teams. I know there's a very tough dynamic between Mario's team and our team or the team yeah. that we've got at Banter. The one thing that worries me is revenue. I think we need to meet with Dave and just, like I think every single segment must be sponsored. My name is David Airy. I look after um, all sponsorships, partnerships and media relationships um, here at the channel Crypto Banter. I'm, I'm looking around uh, the exhibition floor and, and like midday, Ran just calls me and says, gives me a call and says, come and meet him in the cafes. So listen, we just had a meeting about spaces. One of the things that, so I'm not gonna say we're not happy because we actually, we are very happy, but we feel the percentage of days that are sponsored relative to the inventory that we have is very low. Like, problem is for us, we got to show up every day. It takes us two hours of prep. It takes us two hours to be there. And it kind of... And it takes us nine hours of talking to people on WhatsApp. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Bit, bitching, bitching. So, I know you're running around here, but you need to focus on filling up spaces. I get that everything's got to be sold. I think like everyone's got to be a little bit realistic as well and keep in mind that like the market is still at, in the depth of a bear market. Filling everything every single day at the moment just honest, is honestly not a reality. I think we need to set a target and almost say like, like by next month, one third of all spaces must be sponsored. One third of all spaces? One third. Space. Like I think if we can get to one third in, in October, Let's evaluate again in October, maybe push to 40% in November. Yeah. 
and then try by the end of the year to be at 50% of the days that are full. Yeah. So you got, I think you've got a great opportunity here because I've never seen so many exhibitors. Yeah. I actually asked them, there's 300 exhibitors here. So maybe what you should do is get a list of the exhibitors, literally. Yeah. Identify the ones that you think can be good sponsors. Yeah and then tick them off literally one by one. Now you've only got two days to do it. I think, I think a lot of the projects there that are just there because they've got VC money and they're taking an exhibition stand. I don't think after the money they've spent on the expensive exhibition stand, there's too much money left for additional media sponsorships, etc. So like, it looks like we're in the middle of a bull market there yesterday, but if you actually look under the hood, um, um, I don't think that's the case. In October, in October one, one in every three spaces that sponsored. Sounds realistic. That sounds realistic. Thank you. Thank Your you brother. Right. Your brother. So now he's going to go back here. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Cool, brother. Thank you. Good luck out there. It's a challenge. But he's the best there is. I'm up for it, but um, we'll see. We'll see if I can achieve it. It's not guaranteed. I've got to say, working with Rand, I've never met a more relentless human being in my life, which 90% of the time is great, but 10% of the time is so frustrating because once he has an idea of his mind, in his mind of what's right, there's literally no stopping him. But I gotta say, it's evolved very well, it's only getting better, and I think it's going to literally be the biggest show in the world for crypto. Yo Dave, um, I know you and Annie have got a meeting today at OKX okay, to talk about sponsorship. Uh, Are you on the way? Here at OKX offices in Singapore, we are in the process of negotiating a new deal. It's a heart decision for me because I'm loyal. They were the first ones to support me and it's up to David to get this across the line because at the end of the day, if I lose out by joining Banta, there's no point in me staying with Banta. Um. I've been faced with a couple of challenges before. This one's a little bit different though, it's a little bit unique. So I'm waiting for David to come back. David was meeting with his manager and I was sitting with my manager at OKX, waiting for them to come down. I feel like you've just been sacrificing so much for the new deal because what you've already built is you know, so strong and it's worth so yeah. much more than all these other channels combined. Yeah. Then, I know, I feel like they need to offer something like crazy in order to even make it worth it for you. I was basically told we will continue working with you if you're on your own, which is not good, but for every problem there is a solution and I believe that there will be a solution found. I hear and I see both sides but there's just something in me that's like I can fucking make this machine work yeah. for everyone for exchanges for me for banter you don't need banter <laughs> yeah it does it makes it harder but I'm not ready to give up on the challenge yet I do think there's a solution and I think I'm smart enough to find it How's it going so far? Yeah, unbelievable, unbelievable office, eh? Did you get the deal? Well, you can't do that now. You, Alice, you can't do that now. This is the guy that's going to decide on the deal. I haven't even pitched him the deal yet. One of the most serious conversations of my life. Basically, what was said was we sat down with the head of the OKX. What he said was, we want to continue to support her but we can't do it through banter. And essentially they were saying, stay on your own. But to me, the funniest thing was the look on David's face. <laughs> you could tell he just wanted to get out of that room. I've never seen someone want to exit a meeting so fast. Yeah, David was like, right, that's it. <laughs> Three times he did that and I was like, I know you want to get up and leave this table. So I'm going to stay here. <laughs> so I just got a text, a text from Dave and um, apparently the meeting didn't go very well. In fact, uh, he's, he's coming to update me now, but apparently it was really bad. Let's just, let's just 
go straight to the point. In fact, not only did it not go as expected, but it went a whole lot worse. Look, now as a leader, I've got to decide what I'm going to do. It's troubling me. I don't know what to do. I don't know how to solve this problem. I don't know how to get Annie into the system and to explode her in a bear market with the current sponsorship packages. I just, I need to come up with something. The decision isn't if I'm out or if I'm in. The decision is how do we win anyway? And uh, I've got an event later. I don't, I don't actually really feel like going to the event because to be honest, like I don't like losing and this, this, this got me. All I can think about is how to fix this problem. I need to fix this. I'm the leader. It's all on my head to fix this. I can't go back to the office in Cape Town and tell people we lost something. So we just got back, um, yeah it's late, it's uh, 3 a.m. So we won an award tonight, the award was for Bybit's most creative partner, I think it was called the Picasso Award, which was great, but as I said to you, I was troubled by the fact that, that I couldn't solve the problem of, of what we faced earlier. But during the event, I don't know what happened to me, but my mind started to race and I solved the problem. Not only do I think I solved the problem, but I actually came up with a solution which is going to make our business way bigger. Instead of Sheldon being his own, his a link under banter, yes. he gets a link under a new account called Sniper. Ah, uh, got you, got and you. And then Crypto School, like we do with Crypto no, no, School. No, no, like we do with Crypto School. So Crypto School is one, so, 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 banter is so another, it's a property Sniper, on its own. It's a property whale, on its own. TTC, yes, yes, yes. TTC. Yes. And then the, each one of these has their own budget and their own BD guy. Uh, and then, ah, uh, 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 I got uh, you, I got you. But now, if it's, if it's not, if it's a different account, it's a different account. It's a completely, it's a completely it's a different, different business. account. Because Cody keeps and, saying he says banter the plus school. And, and that's where the confusion's coming yes. in for, for these yes. guys. Exactly. Yes. For their own independent business com units. Com they've got their own sponsorship and then they funnel from there. Correct. It's a way to go. It's a way to go. It's a way to go. I love it. Yes, it's gonna open. It's gonna open up a whole, a whole new section, yes. section and sector. Okay. Yes. Okay. Nice. Nice. Yes. At the moment, it runs in one box. Yes. No. And so, no. And so no. they've got one cost no. center. No. Yeah. Here's a box. Here's a yeah, box. Here's a box. Here's a box. Here's a box. Here's a box. And that's when. It, that's exactly the problem. So I'm in my hotel room, trying to get ready for a party. I get this message from Ran, and it says, Annie, with like 20 eyes on the end, and he says, I figured it out, and. I'm like, are you at a party? Like, <laughs> what? Just go have some fun. No, bro, Annie, I just said it. To Annie, Annie loves it. Yeah. Yeah. Right, this, this is, is right up Annie. Dude, that's five X sponsorship, Annie, Annie, bro. Annie. The problem is that these guys are looking at it from on a per account level, right? Yay. And they're saying, look, we can't allocate money per account. No problem. We'll just open five accounts: one for Crypto School, one for Banter, one for Annie, one for Sheldon, one for Kyle. Now we've got five accounts. Now let's have another discussion. And he sends me this picture that he had drawn somehow he got a piece of paper at this party in a pen and he draws out this map of this whole basically new structure that he's going to build around this problem we just need to take that and insert it into banter for all the other products and we'll just have the most killer platform that ever existed and that's the solution 
That's how we're going to get the exchanges to say we were wrong. They could do it together.